Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this bag over here. And this is quite an easy project, like all of the projects in my channel, because I myself am a beginner, so it needs to be easy to make. So you should be able to do it. You just have to know the basics of crochet, like doing a chain and then single, double and triple crochet. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. The bag is made in three big steps. The granny squares, stitching them all together and the straps. So you need to make 13 daisy squares for the body of the bag. I followed this tutorial and the instructions weren't super clear, so it is possible that I made some mistakes but it still looked great. To make the flower you start with a slip stitch and chain 5. Join with a slip stitch to form a circle. Then you chain 2 and do 11 double crochets into the center of the ring, making sure it's the actual center and not the first chain. The chain of 2 will count as a double crochet, so in the end you should have 12 sections. To minimize the ends that you'll have to sew in later, you can hide them inside your stitches while you're crocheting as I'm doing here. Finish with a slip stitch under the chain of 2 and chain 1 for more security. Now we will start making the petals. Add the new yarn by inserting the needle in between one of your double crochets and tying a knot. Bring your yarn to the front to form a loop and chain 2. Triple crochet into the same space twice. Just a little note, in case this is all very new to you, the chain of two that you do in the beginning, no matter what part of the tutorial you are in, will always count as the first stitch, whether that be a double crochet or a triple crochet. Ok, after you are done with your triple crochets, you remove your hook from the loop and insert it into the top of the chain of two. Then you insert your needle again into the loop from the last triple crochet and pull it through. And you just made a petal. Between each petal you chain two. So now you will do three triple crochets into the next space, chain two and keep going like this until you reach the beginning. So in the end you should have 12 petals. should insert the needle to pull the loop from the last triple crochet through because for the most part of this project I was doing this wrong. It still turned out great but I just wanted to show you the right way. Slip stitch into the first petal and chain one. flower is done, now you just have to add the borders. Attach the new color the same way as before into any of the chain 2 spaces. Now chain 2, which is going to count as the first double crochet, and do 2 double crochets into the same space. and do three double crochets again into the same space and with this you just made your first corner just a tip I think it is better to elongate your double crochets in the corners so pulling more thread because in the beginning I was doing the square always with the same tension and length and the square turned out to be a circle 
I think this would be easily avoided by mixing half double crochet and double crochet stitches for the different sizes as I've seen in other patterns, but it also works this way, perhaps not so neatly. In between corners you will have two spaces, and into each space you do three double crochets. Now for the next corner you do 3 double crochets, chain 1 and 3 double crochets again. Keep doing this until you reach the beginning and do a slip stitch into the top of the chain 2 to finish it. are the exact same process. The only difference is that you have to start in the corner space always and instead of two spaces in between the corners you will have three spaces for the second round and four spaces for the third round. This is a square after the second round, then you just have to add the third round and I did it with white yarn. Just do all of this again 12 times and it is time to stitch them all up. This is how you should display your squares. Here I'm showing you how it will look after you finish the bag. The squares on top of each other are going to match and the ones alone will be folded. And I hope this is making sense. Okay, so to get that shape, just sew along these lines first and then the opposite way. I'm showing you this because you end up having less ends to sew in later since you are sewing multiple squares at the same time, but you can do however you prefer. There are multiple ways to stitch the squares together, but I had never done this before so I just chose the simplest way for me. You start with a slip stitch on your needle and insert it into the corner of your last border through both of your squares. The squares should have their right sides facing each other. Then you do a single crochet and keep going by inserting the needle under the little V's that form your borders and doing single crochets there. the end of your square you do a single crochet again at the corner and if this is where you should finish you just chain one and cut the thread but if you will continue to sew other squares like me you keep going by doing again a single crochet into the next corner after you finish sewing everything together you should have something like this on your right side now you have the body of your bag and you just have to make the border and the straps to be honest, I really dislike this part because the tutorial I was following used the waistcoat stitch and I don't know if it was me doing it wrong or if it is usually that hard, but my hands were hurting a lot from doing this to the point where I ended up just doing a single crochet row sometimes on the straps and doing them thinner because my hands were getting sore and my yarn finished. Anyways, I'm going to leave the link explaining how you make this in the description below. And that's it. I hope that I helped you in case you want to make this bag and that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching!